It's your buddy Mikey with We Talking Media. Early morning, a real conversation on relationships. Hey, it is the talk of the towns and talk of life. I mentioned it before. The dynamic between men and women or whatever you're with is the you know essence of the human life right now. You know, it just it just is. Whether I agree with it or not, you know, I'm one of these uh UFO space guys, so I'm th- I think a little bit deeper. But anyway, you know, before the AI comes and takes us all over. I think that's what it's going to be. That dynamic, I mean, we're just simple tends to that in relationships matter. Now, where am I going with this? The culture has gone a, a whole different way, and it, it, it affects every race of man. Forget about the, you know, black, white, dot, dot, dot. It's every man is experiencing uh, this type of pain, and I'm assuming women on the other end are also experiencing pain. You're going you're gonna to ask why. I'm, I'm going to go there. Anton Daniels, I like to shout out the channel, uh, just did this video. Uh, and again, I support all media for the culture, okay? Yeah, whether I agree with somebody all the way or not, I will support you, okay? You're entitled to your opinion, and this opinion I happen to agree with. Men need to spend $800 on a first date. I mean, I understand inflation is here, but I want to go into a little conversation for... You know, I'm on the players, the Max, whatever you want to call it, the Chaz, the Tyrones, however you want to call it. And the differences of treatment between a woman that likes you and doesn't like you and how, yes, go get the bag, but be very careful. I, I've said this a million times. These guys don't get it because you have the bag doesn't necessarily mean she likes you. She will fleece you. And, and the same thing goes, hey, you know, believe it or not, gentlemen. The same thing goes for a woman with the bag. He will fleece you on both sides. It's a human epidemic. All right? Just think about it. Think about a lot of guys. Look, Kevin Federline, a lot of, lot of, you know, allegedly pretty Rickies. I don't know. Why would the girls look at them? You know, these guys take the woman to the cleaners too. Oprah's not married for a reason, right? You understand? So this is one situation. Let's hear this girl out while looking at Anton. I could have just searched the video, but I do want to shout out this channel, give this guy some uh, some even more views because you know he's really grown. Let's go. Uh, Twenty eight. Let's say I wanted to take you out. How much do you expect me to spend on a first date? Depends where we're going. Okay. What's your expectation, though? I don't really have any. So I could hit you up and say, "Hey, let's go to Burger King and get slushy." Oh, no, 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 no. I mean. At least, like, you know, nice five-star type of restaurant. Look and at then it. Miami. Depending on how it goes, depending on how I like you, and that all kind of goes with me even saying yes for a, for a first time. How do you know you're in trouble? Okay. She, you know, this is a Latina. Listen, Latina culture, the man really pays for everything. I'm not going to I'm not gonna front to you and... In, 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 and pretend like Latina girls have never ever wanted the man. You pay for everything. I know guys like them, but just remember with a Latina. Now I, I'm in. Yeah, we're gonna go to the comments in a second. You see them prop it up. If she's from here, like for instance, you know Elizabeth, New Jersey, where I'm from. Um, I gotta be honest. I've never spent that much on any girl. Like I, I can't lie to you. I've never spent that much, no matter what I've made, I've never had to spend that much on a girl. I think the most I've spent on a girl, uh, I hate to do this. I don't want to go there. I don't want to see like a cheap ass. I'll I'll get there in a second. Let me show you where I'm going. This girl already has standards set because you're approaching her. She didn't give you any signals, in my opinion. And you look at her, white dress, look at her purse, that glittery shit. I'm done already. You see that glittery shit on her purse? Red, 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 red wine. All right? That's our new slogan, man, when we see these go Red, red wine. Okay, she's you're already in trouble. All right? It's like a girl that starts to saying, you know, hey, uh, I know you. Uh, I've I seen you. Uh, you talk business all the time. That that's a that's a red flag. She's hunting for money. She's hunting for support. She doesn't ask the the boy at Starbucks uh about his uh you know about his game plan for money or um uh you got to take me here if she finds him attractive, right? You see, you got to be at that level with the girl. She doesn't like you. So I don't even waste time. I'm too old. I know the game. 
Yeah, I've had girls approach me. Oh, he must have money. I turn them off. Okay. I got a little hoopty. The girls I get in my hoopty is the girls I can get. Okay. That's just facts. I'm not going to front around and, you know, do the McLaren thing or do the, do the you know, I, the Porsche is low key. I ain't going to lie. To me, the Porsche is low key. You know, I'm a line 11 turbo tonic type of dude. S. You know, I like that type. But, you know, I, it's a, the, the girls I could get in my regular joint, and I'm talking about hoopty hoopty, man. I'm talking about, you know, pre-2010 boy car, okay? Really old, 2002 type shit. The girls I get there are, are usually the girls that will, you know, really like me. They find me attractive. I'm just going somewhere with that because this girl here is putting all this status shit because, first of all, she probably doesn't like any uh, any man. What she likes is Instagram and the views, and sometimes that satisfies the need of a woman. Uh, and, and the argument on the woman's side is we've been in the hole of, of, of sitting in the house too long, and, and the guy, and I've heard this several times, the guys always cheat. I know Fresh and Fit always going into, oh, you know what, a guy can't cheat. If he has money, she'll, if you have money, she'll share you. Of course, yeah, if you have a lot of money and you're dipping off a $1, thousand, two thousand all the time, yeah, you can share it. But let me tell you something, something like that. I'm, I'm, I don't want to mention myself, but maybe I will. Some Somebody like me slipping in that thing. Okay? If you think you're going to juggle 20, 30 chicks and you think you're balling and you think, oh, I'm spending on all of them, they'll all cater to me. You, you're, you're, you're strongly misinformed about women. Okay? They do like the competition of being with each other, but it is very, you're not going to fulfill all her needs. Just like she can't fulfill all your needs. There is a honeymoon phase. I believe in that cycle. I believe there is a time of boredom in the relationship where things will happen and you have to either try to keep it, the cheaper to keep her, or meet your reaper, man. Cheaper to keep her or meet your reaper. And and that's just the fundamental facts of, of life in humans, all right? Monogamy is, is a new construct. I do believe in it. I think it makes more sense. Let me tell you why I believe in it. Let me tell you the biggest reason why I say you shouldn't have multiple chicks, blah, 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 blah. Because of the human anatomy to be selfish to itself. Okay, that's a big thing. Outside of making babies, you probably don't want, right? You don't want to make 20 babies, right? Okay, maybe you do. But on most occasions, you don't want 20 babies. There's a thing that calls itchy, scratchy, scratchy underneath you. <laughs> you see, when you mess with a lot of different girls and you think you're in control, you expose yourself to an itchy, scratchy. And some of those itchy, scratchies will take you down, huh? will take you down six feet, you know, where they can't really map me. You get what I'm saying there? Those STDs are no joke, my friend. It's crazy out there, man. You think you think I'm gonna you think I'm gonna risk my life for you know 20 minutes of sunshine? Nah, sir. Not 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 me. We gotta have more self-control as human beings. It's not worth it. It is better to have one partner be just because of those facts. There's a reason why if, if there was no problem with you messing around with 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 women a, a, a year or girls, you know, men, that's really easy for a girl to do, by the way. There wouldn't be STDs, but there's venereal diseases for a reason. It's a construct to say the body is not really wanting you to do that much to go that deep. I understand this condoms. But that's that's one reason right there. Let's keep going. I did all that shit and didn't even finish her part. Let's hear the Latina. Listen, they are money oriented, one thousand percent. Okay, you know, see, I'm gonna read the comments and then we're gonna go into some stories real quick. I'm gonna look him up. Coach Greg Adams, another guy I like to follow. He's funny. He's just funny, man. I love. He's just a funny ass guy. Uh, let's watch this. Actual date. So that that takes a toll. Okay. So five star restaurant in Miami. How much is that gonna range? Depends how many drinks you'll be ordering. Average. You'll be ordering? Um, anywhere from I'm sorry, boss. 300 to 800, maybe. Jump start, yeah. So, <laughs> realistically, you expect a man to spend $800 on a first day? Yeah. Has it happened before? Yeah. I believe her. Hey. I'm going to stop there. And we're going to go into some storylines. They should be separate videos, and we will touch on them about when a woman doesn't necessarily really like you. Okay, um, there's the let's let's get there. Hopefully, no pornos of a. Uh, <laughs> 
What's his name? Sade Gardner. This is one here. Check this out. I, I like type it in so you can find it. Jacksonville, Florida, uh, murder's husband. This is a Microsoft executive. This is actually, okay, this this is crazy. Shauna Gardner and Jared Brittingham. Uh, this is a crazy-ass story. But there's red flags, like I told you, with these women. This should be like 10 different videos. But I'm just going to put this one in one and then. Hopefully people people actually watch this. I'm gonna try to put some. The reason why I'm not getting a lot of views, I don't do tags, guys. So that's another reason. I'm, I mean, I'm really doing this for my own, my own self. Uh, this girl, Shauna Gardner, from Jacksonville. Okay. Um, she's the ex-wife of Jared Brittingham. Okay, and it's crazy. It's a crazy case, man. Um. This girl married a guy who was well off, okay? Uh, and had two kids with him, okay? Fernandez Saldano, the rest on March 16, first degree conspiracy. So so she had this one guy, Jared Brittingham. They separated. She was bitter because she was you know, she was with him for the bag. And she goes out and she marries, uh, I hate to say it, you know, Latino black. I'm not going to say black. They, they say they white. So he's a Latina guy. And then for some reason they plotted after he picked up his daughters for the for the visitation day or his twins. It looks like a daughter and son. She goes ahead and kills dude with her new uh, partner. They plotted to kill him. Okay, uh, and they hired, of course, some. I hate to say it, this, this this is a black dude. Of course, they hired the black dude to go out and do the dirty work. Fucking idiot. What what a, what a loser. When, when the dirty work comes, you know, they bring you in. What, what a stupid. But here she goes. You can see already. This is why I'm very hesitant. You know, the mamba and the cobra's head is designed. It shows you it's deadly. It shows you it's poisonous, okay? I hate to do this because in this era, all of them have it. But that tattoo, bro, she has a full sleeve, my man. She doesn't look like that regular. She has the makeup on, okay? Uh, you know, again, here goes the storyline in full capacity. And one, I like this one liner, Shauna Gardner Fernandez, because she just married another dude, is the ex wife of Jared Brittingham. He's a Microsoft executive. He was shot to death on, on, on in February 2022 in Jacksonville Beach after dropping their two kids off at her house and attempting to head back to the home in St. Augustine. Gardner Fernandez spoke in June with the Times Union and was photographed at a friend's home. She was laughing. She was chilling. She didn't care. Okay. Brittingham's a 33-year-old Michael. By the way, hold on. Here we go. I don't, I don't see the ages here, but I, it already looks like she is older than him. Oh, Lord. Is she older than him? No. Hold on. Hold on. I don't see her. Oh, no. She's 36. He was, he was, you know, he's, she's three years older. Okay. A 33-year-old Microsoft executive tenant had rented a home from Fernanda Saldana, okay? Oh, he was a renter. He was a renter for Fernanda Saldana. So the, the for the so the the boy toy was was doing some real estate from very, very on everything on my body. And so told me she was behind it. Wow. Okay. Why did she mar murder him? Okay, there goes the chat. I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna down boy. He was, he was an executive of Microsoft. That's a pretty good job. Living in, take, took that salary, moved it to Florida. That's why the prices are going high. <laughs> but uh, he's dead. Um, and and he had, and he had a, he had another wife and two kids with the new wife. Shauna Gardner uh, was with the new boyfriend. Had two kids with him. But I'm trying to figure out. What was the motive, right? Authorities have not discussed the motive, okay? Okay, she filed for a divorce. For a garden, the state's her involvement may have gone back as far as May 2015. So she's been plotting this shit for a minute, which is a few months after she filed for a divorce, okay? She filed for the divorce, okay? She had a lot of anger. There, there, there goes her boy toy right there, okay? He he did a again. He don't even got kids with her. 
to taking care of somebody else's kids for her. Fucking goddamn man. All right. Not his kids and goes out and, and murders for his for his wife. You know, not even knowing the story. That's something I can't do for no woman. I'm sorry. All right. I, I'm submitting, you know, I, I cannot, you know, I'll protect you. But I'm not, I'm not doing no murder because the lies are too much in this, in this life. All right. What does this have to do with um, this pay for it, lay for it type of bullshit? Would a girl, I mean, now, now there's love, there's, 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 there's this fatal love type of thing. But would a girl that didn't know you were a Microsoft executive, and, and you can go back and say, well, was he executive when she was with him? Okay, I'll leave it at that. But let's leave the storyline as if he was, right? He was the bag. She filed for divorce, got the child support, okay? All right. Sleeve tattoo, all, all the red flags you can think of, okay? Uh, He went on to remarry, you know? And uh, with a girl that you didn't spend the money on, right? With a girl that really likes you, put you... In this type of predicament, okay, um, and this is the bag holder thing. Yeah, you know, I got the bag. I got the bag. I got the bag. Let's go, Jeff Bezos. I'm gonna do this real quick. There's a couple billionaires in trouble, right? And his girl, 158 billion. All right, he's making this woman a fiance, Laura Sanchez. Okay, um. Laura Sanchez took a break from England with Holly's most elite and touring Europe on her on her fiance Jeff Bezos maybe got to volunteer at a shelter in Mexico. Okay. You know, loves cradling, cradling a tiny baby. Oh, oh look, she's already she oh Lord. Uh, it's, you know, again, Spanish woman, their culture. The man just does everything. I, I don't have a problem with that, but you just got to know what you're getting into. People love South America, sir, uh, for sure. If you're coming from America, going to South America, passport, bro, let me help you out. All right? you, you're you're going to pay. You're paying. You're paying. All right? You ain't getting nothing for free down there. You don't even speak the language. So she has to struggle with you to get the language right, and then on top of that, a different culture. If you don't think you're getting down there for being a bag, you're, you're dumb as hell. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I don't need the bag. I look good, but they got good, good looking guys down there, right, bro? I mean, come on, man. What's so special about you? What you bring to the table? Security, which is money, okay? All right. So does does that girl really like you down there? No, that's that's a money play. Ninety percent of the of the Colombian. I'm seeing all these comments in Anton v, uh, Daniel's video. Oh, uh, Colombian this, that, and uh, Lord's eldest son, Nico Gonzalez. Oh, Lord. Yeah, he's going to eat off He's gonna eat of her. Boy, he don't even look like the. Is he black? Who's her father? Who's the father of this kid? Lord's eldest son. I think she. Oh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Gonzalez, uh. Was that the was that the 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 the, the yeah? Is that the? I think that's the baseball player guy she was dealing with. So she had a baby with him. She secures the bag and she's looking at a little baby. So again, he look at oh my god! I mean, everyone has their taste, bro. I mean, and, and sometimes it's it's mannerisms and shit like that that uh, put you to the next level. Last week, she and the Amazon founder fifty nine were. Spot enjoying a glamorous lunch with Katy Perry, Orlando Bloom, Usher, and Sc Scooter Braun in, Cro in Croatia. Okay. In Croatia. And, and again, successful people like to be around successful people, if you didn't know. Okay. If you didn't know, let me, let me help you out. All right. By the way, Jeff Bezos is in his muscle bag heavy. Okay. Uh, I do believe that there is a, I do believe, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, there is a uh, there is an open relationship here on on, on Jeff said. I'm not gonna lie to you here. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that in another. Laura Sanchez looked like she freaky man. She looked like she go ahead, go ahead. You're right, yeah. <laughs> she looked like she she made joy. I hate to say that. I, I believe that's why he's here. I believe she she she'll let him. I believe she may bring in some girls. Okay, 
no one's going there. I, I'll go there. Look at this. Look at this girl. She's she's been moving and, and moving and grooving. A lot of people talk about. By the way, Jeff was friends with this guy. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna continue on that storyline. He was worth forty million. Uh, okay. Okay. So so anyway, does does she truly love Jeff Bezos or is it the bag? The bag is so attractive that he has to pay out and. We went into the case before another dude and a Microsoft executive that had to pay out and look what happened to their life. They usually break apart because the girl is playing a role. OK, I'm just using woman because they're easier examples. More more of that. OK, easy example. You know, there's a boredom. Hey, Chaff. Hey, she's going to be in a perfect attitude for a billion or 150 billion. She'll be like that for 10 years. I mean, he ain't going to catch her. <laughs> he he Jeff Bezos ain't gonna catch this girl, okay? She, I mean, he, she, he, she's gonna be perfect nanny for about ten years, all right? at least at a minimum. But she historically has shown a lot of divorces, and uh, Jeff was at a lonely place. He broke his wife broke up with him, right, because he cheated. Uh, you know, I, I believe she was cheating too. But you know, he got caught. That's his problem, right, in the media. And uh, he, you know, he immediately jumped over to a, a, one of the women he's already messing with. Uh, let's do this. And, and she broke it off with her husband. So, you know, just by the way they met, you know, it's, it's a money play on his part. That's what they're attracted to. And he's probably going to be in trouble. Ten years or less, he will be in trouble. There will be a divorce. He's doing the prenup once she signs it in. Thanks, Jeff, uh, for the fun. Uh, uh, I'm done. I mean, that's that's what's going to happen. And she's very she's totally different from the other wife in that she's a perfect example of a Miami I don't want to say gold digger, but it is what it is, right? That's what that's what she's. And nothing wrong with a woman grabbing her bag. The problem is, the guy she met when she was younger, when she was about six, between sixteen and twenty four, those guys she was messing with there, she really liked them. Okay, she really liked them, and those are you know the really the real true loves at that point. All right? And that's that, that's what I'm trying to get at. As in, you don't necessarily have to pay for the bag. As a woman gets older. She's been through more pain with men. Uh, they're not going to take it. They're going to say, I, I know, man, you're assholes. I'm, I want I want something out of this, okay? You're going to give me something. Uh, they get hardened is what I call it, okay? And we have a part in that, right? Because at the younger age, usually, not, not nowadays, but when I grew up, the guy had the advantage and we was all over the place, okay? That's what happened. We were all over the place uh, and we had the advantage. Now the woman had the advantage, so... Uh, and they're not letting go. They're not letting go. Now, there's another billionaire. Billionaire outs his wife, you know, uh, confronts wife at, at wedding. And I hate to say Becky's. I'm going to leave this video at that. Um, okay. There, there, There's an issue here. Uh, she has no signs of it. Uh, a woman, you say, why are you doing this? My, I got lady friends. The stories that come up are all women. I can't find a man. I can't find a man story except the one dude. What's that dude's name? The lying guy who uh, he uh, he was tricking woman into thinking uh, the Tinder swindler or whatever. You know, I mean, that's the only guy I know was winning, but he was still winning off the bag, off of showing off the lifestyle. Okay. You know, and these guys are the guys that are paying big amounts of money up front. And I think you lose their ladies and men. I think if they don't have a general attraction to you to be able to go to a coffee shop and chill out and talk to you, I think you've lost. I I'm sorry. Italian high society is shocked as millionaire banker throws ultra exclusive engagement party at Turin Villa only to make accusations against fiance in his speech. OK, this is this crazy. Being a banker, Massimo Sagre, he's older, accuses fiancé of cheating on him in front of distinguished guests. Okay, Italian, these are going to be different stories. Yes, I'll separate it. Massami Sagre, 64, gathered distinguished guests at his mansion in Turin to celebrate his upcoming nuptials to entrepreneur. Well, right there is already, you lost right there. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I already know, I know she's an entrepreneur and politician. You're done. She is as... She her roles are already already squabble, okay. But instead of the loving words usually addressed to the bride to be, Massimo accuses his future wife of cheating to the shock of the society. All right. 
I want to give Christina the freedom to love, specifically to love another person, another little lawyer who she clearly cares more about than me. You see, I'm bringing this full circle. Do you, do you see? See, this guy's a multi-millionaire. He spent all the money on her, and they're doing all the events. He's showing off. But yet, yet, the lawyer guy is reaping the benefits of this millionaire's work. Do you see where I'm going with this, guys? Do you get it? Uh, I love Greg Adams, but he keeps going in the bag, the bag, the bag, and fresh and fit, the bag, and the bag. If you get the girl with the bag, gentlemen, prepare for a divorce later on in life. They don't like you. They don't like you. Okay? Have I dealt with women that think I got some? Yes. Do I keep them? No way. I'm not wasting my time. I'm not waste her time either. If that's what you have to, darling, forget about it. If you can't be with me in a little apartment and my old, old, old uh, hoopty that I drive, well, I may have a lot of whips, but I drive a hoopty. And you can't be with me in that. And we can't enjoy our time in that. If we can't enjoy our time going to the beach and just relaxing, and sitting together, we can't go to a coffee shop and sit together and have a good conversation, get along. Forget about it. Forget about it. Okay, and as you get older, yes, I'm getting I'm older, you know, you lose that advantage with a woman to be able to find that type of love. That's why I am pur purporting for young men to get it in early and, and get with that girl from college. One of the best places I understand they're going to have a high body count. I get it. It's that time. It's that experimental time. Guys have to deal with that. She's going to come up with above five plus body count as she experiments in college. Yes, it's true. And if I'm being honest, it's probably 20 to 40 guys. Yes. If she's an attractive girl in college, she's experimenting, right? She's trying different racial colors and all that. She's experiencing things she's never experienced before. She's curious about. That's what guys do too, but they can't do it like a girl can, right? Because we're, we're desperate for, 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 for a sexual need because of our testosterone at that age. But she's just experimenting, guys. And, and out of that, you got you to gotta take her there or you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> you're in a lot of trouble because as they get into their career and all that, I mean, then, you know, they're going to mess with the boss, you know, whatever level. If she's a, if she's if she's a regular uh, accountant, she's messing with the director of accounting or the VP. If she becomes a VP, she's trying to get with the president. I mean, they're always going to look to up. OK, and then after that, no offense. These are the same girls. If they're attractive, 20, between 27 and 36, because Miami doesn't really have young chicks like crazy. You can you get the masterminds of Miami, man. You get the masterminds of gold diggers in Miami that have been through it all. And now they're going for, OK, what 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 planet does he own? That's what they're looking for down there. OK, I'm not saying it's everywhere. Yes, there's spots down there, Wynwood and all that, that you can get a regular chick. Yes. But it's the bag. That's why they're looking at your clothes and all that shit. All right? But this is the perfect example. This is the perfect example of, hey, Anton, hey, man, get into your bag. You know, get into your bag. Yes, get into your bag for yourself. But don't you dare get in that bag as your sole reason of attracting a woman. For a lifetime partnership. As I said, partnership. Yes, you both are going to do wrong in that relationship. There's nobody perfect. There's nobody perfect, guys. There's no white sands everywhere, my dude. It could be cheating. It could be, I mean, there's a lot of different things that can happen. But don't think that this relationship is going to be high and mighty forever. This is an old man talking to you that's been there, been through a lot of relationships. A lot. Okay. And paying for play, I hear you. Let me tell you something. You pay for play. I get it. It's easier, but easy ain't always good. That's why you don't feel so good after you pay for play. Okay? Pay for play doesn't have to necessarily mean a prostitute. It can mean a girl that says, and I've, I've had it. I'm straight out. We talk in media. Okay, I want to go to Ruth Chris. Right? Or, you know, and I don't take them there. Like I said, I think the most I spent was maybe three, four hundred. Um... But I can't even say I spent that. Like, I wanted to go to these places, and they happened to be with me. I'll be honest with you. I didn't check the price. <laughs> I didn't check the price of the spot. I didn't know it was going to be so expensive. <laughs> That's the truth, my, my dudes. I can't lie to you. I'm like, okay, let's go, to, let's go to the space thing and go to dinner here. I didn't check the prices. When I got that set, I was like, oh, shit, too late. <laughs> That's the truth. But anyway, you know. 
I did that, and you know, and, and sometimes it feels like a pay for play. Like she feels like she needs to do something because you spent money on her on, on a restaurant or something like that. And it's not it's not the same. It's not the same when you when you actually have a, a again, money's good, but they have to like you initially. That's what this guy is saying, Massimo, saying, baby, listen, I do love you. I do find you attractive, but uh uh, you know, look look at look at her face. Look at her face. Look at her face right here. A moment of shock as Christina looks around after being accused of having an affair with a lawyer. 64 and 47. What's the age difference there? 17 years. Too much of an age difference, my brother. Unless you're in shape. Okay. Massimo, too much of an age difference unless you're in shape. If you keep the money, money, money guy. Yeah, the family loves you because they're trying to figure out what they can get from you. Okay, he then wishes her well before telling her to go to Makanos with her lover as a holiday, perhaps the honeymoon is already paid for. After his speech was over, the lights dim and Massimo left the stage. The Italian media reported that the guests were annoyed at being used as part of the show. It's stunned that they stared on silence. Now, remember, Italian, <laughs> let me tell you, you guys like Europe. Europe is a very high infidelity uh, nation, and that's across every single one of those countries. I, I'll say it, and I, I, my, my Russian guys will back me up. My Ukrainian guys will back me up. Yes, I got all countries. Italian guys will back me up. My French guys will back me up. And my, especially my Espanol, my Spain guys will back me up. It is infidelity crazy in, in, in Europe. All you guys thinking about, I'm going to get a European princess and it's going to be all good. Infidelity is common. I won't lie to you. They have some good relationships. It's, it's working out. I'm not going to lie. It looks good on Instagram. It looks good when they're going out for dinner. They're, you know, they're highly family society. The money is not at the forefront. I'm not going to lie to you in Europe, okay? Because you can't draw no uh, uh, lucid sapphire. I'm a car guy, so you look that up and see what that is. I'm a, I'm a real car guy, not these fake guys, right, with the bottom model, okay? So, you know, you know, it, it, it's not the S63 AMG out in Europe too much. It's the regular shit. You can't really drive them. The road's too small. So this is truly a looks society. They, they do like got people that dress well. You got to dress well. But it is a, 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 an attraction. It is an attraction so, more so than the U.S., which is all about the bag. That said, I'm going to leave the video at that. All about the bag and money. I hear you. But let me tell you something, guys. She has to like you. She has to like you guys. Her lawyer, Claudio Strada, added that her banker fiance had intentionally humiliated her. This letter was read out in front of dozens of people and it was captured a video that was sent to the newspaper. We don't think this was imp improvised. See, they turned around on him. You know, Massimo category denies having published the video, let alone having allowed it to be filmed. He has since accused Christina of stealing 700000 from the couple's joint account. What the fuck is he doing? But she says the money was transferred with his consent before the relationship ended. You see, you see, you see this how he's leading? How much more do I need to tell you guys? Hopefully you watch this video. The bag doesn't get you a true relationship. They gotta, she has to be attracted to you. Your boy Mikey, I'm signing off here. We talk immediately, one of the realest ones, videos out there on relationships with some examples. Oh, get the bag, get the bag, get the bag. Yeah, get the bag and then, you know, real a real guy that, 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 that she likes, I'm going to slip in, I'm going to be driving your car. Yeah. Sorry, God. Jersey, can't lie to you. I'm going to be driving your car. She'll let me get the keys. Get the bag, get the bag, get the bag. Get some love, man. Get some relationship skills. Make sure she likes you. Make sure she's attracted to you. Make sure she doesn't see you in a whip and then says hi. Make sure she doesn't see you as an athlete because then she's out for the bag again. When she, when she catches you at Starbucks, you got sandals on and shorts, and she still likes you, that's when you're the winner. Your boy Mikey sign off. We talking media. Peace.